Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Before I get started, I want to give all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakat Kadash, Brakati Yahweh, Brakati Yahushai, Brakati Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this beautiful truth, okay? Um, and Shalom to the sister, sister, uh, sister, sincere brethren, Salakia, that's preaching the word and truth and sincerity. In the uh, you know, the speck of brethren, you know, you may like the other nations face value, but indeed your spirit goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which makes you an Israelite. Okay. And um Shalom to the um uh, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, Salakia. Uh Shalomon to the uh sincere um you no know, sister that's put in the effort to please you how while y'all shy to the best of their abilities and obeying their husband if they have a husband. Okay. You know, so I came across this article today, you know, and I instantly thought of First Thessalonians five and verse um <clears throat> Salaki on my voice. I instantly thought about First Thessalonians five and verse three. You know, that's what I instantly thought of, you know, when I seen this. You know, in the verses above, it goes into, you know, um our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, coming as a thief in the night, you know, coming in a thief in the night to these people. You know, because to us sincere believers of Yahweh Yahweh Shai, we're not going to be surprised when the the, uh, the coming of the Lord, when uh, it's not going to be a thief in the night to us, man. You know, it's not going to be a surprise to us, you know, because sincere, the, the, the sincere believers are watching. Okay. You know, that's why I said measure, measure, um, measure down time diligently in itself. Okay. Um, you know. Because the end is manifest, man. You know, and the end is ultimately manifest, you know, um, through the, uh, through the prophets, you know. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai being the mouthpiece of the prophets, man? Okay. Um, that's why the scriptures say my um my words should not come back void. Okay, going back to what I just said right now, man. It's not gonna come back empty. With the sincere believers of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. You know, starting from, you know, GMS, you know, and uh, the sincere brothers that, you know, that uh, preaches the same doctrine, 100% truth and sincerity. Um, that's the word of Yahweh about Shemel Shai, ultimately, man, because we don't come with our own emotions. We don't come in our own feelings. We come strictly in the ways, in the feelings in, uh, of Yahweh about Shemel Shai, straight up, man. You know, we throw away our feelings and strictly go off Yahweh about Shemel Shai the right way. You know, that's why I said, seek, the, seek you the old path. Which is the right way, okay? The ancient, basically, man. You know. But uh, anyways, though, um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna ramble too much. It says I had devil horns implanted in my face. I've never felt better. That's what got me. It said implanted. I instantly thought of um, the see hit. You know, the see hit. You know, the karagma. Okay. Uh, going to the you no know, um the M A R K man. The mark of the beast, man. Okay, because the bitch said, um, "I had devil horns implanted in my face. I ne I've never felt better." People gonna get that implant, that see it, and be like, thinking they in good case. Just like second, first Thessalonians, while I was thinking of a uh, sudden, sudden destruction coming, man. Okay, then we get destroyed, man. They gonna be like, "Oh fuck." People gonna understand they getting destroyed for trusting in Esau, you know. And I'm speaking now. When I say this, I'm speaking about uh, Jake, you know. Isaiah 30, you know, Pharaoh should be, uh, you no know, thy shame, you no know, trusting in Pharaoh, man, you know, because modern day Pharaoh is Esau, Edom, man, okay, the same way Pharaoh's heart got hardened, <laughs> he didn't, you know, the Lord hardened Pharaoh's heart, you know, the Lord hardened uh, Esau's heart, man, you know, Esau, Edom does not want to let the Israelites uh, go, okay, but I'm going to continue, I'm going to read it one more time, then I'm going to read a little bit of the article, I had devil horns implanted in my face. I never felt better. I'm going to let the scriptures just talk. You know, so I'm going to just start it. You know, Lord, when this video is edifying. It says, it's, this is from Daily Mail. Um, I don't see the date on here, so it's like you. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to uh, start up. <clears throat> this is from Daily Mail. It says, exclusive. I spent 12000 getting devil horns and 100 piercings in my face. My mental have never, my mental health has never been better. Okay. But, you know, trusting in Esau, you know, I don't know if this is a speckled bird. I don't know if it's uh, Edomite. I don't know what the fuck it is. Whatever it is, is a, is a demon. 
the motherfucker's gonna get destroyed, whatever it is, man, okay? But I'm using this for edification sake. Edification sake, ultimately, no, speaking about Jacob, okay? Because the only people the Lord is coming for is the uh, the elect of Israel, of Israel, okay? You so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, and so-called Native Americans, the true Israelites, man, okay? Them Amalekites out there in Israel are not the true Israelites, man. They had war the first day going to that land. They're in war right fucking now, you know, which is fucking um set up by they dad, by they ass because Amalek controls the media and controls everything. They're just using that shit to justify um taking land and shit from um Palestine and shit. You know, you know how you saw work, you know, but um going back to the point, um. I'm going to read it one more time. I spent $12,000 getting devil horns and 100 piercings in my face. My mental health has never been better. Yeah, I'm going to continue, though. I'm going to continue. A blogger has undergone extreme body modifications to cope with trauma. Yeah, man. So these people are going to um take that C hip ultimately for comfort, man. Okay, that's why the scriptures say whoever um, <clears throat> saved their life should lose their life, man. Okay? And, he, and whoever who, and who and whosoever shall lose a life for my sake shall find life. Okay, roughly paraphrasing, roughly paraphrasing. Okay, and I just want I'm actually gonna get it. I'm actually gonna get it since I quoted it. I do not want to quote it wrong. Okay, and I got a couple of presets I might bring out. Okay, this is Matthew 16 and verse 25. And it reads, For who for whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Yeah, man. Going back to this uh this thing right here, you know. Talking about um it says a blogger has undergone extreme body mo mod mod uh, modifications to cope with trauma. You know, you're over there seeking the devil, um, the devil treatment and shit, so-called treatment, you know, seeking uh, uh, help for Esau, Edom, ultimately, because that's what it is. Cause I'm talking about the C-hip, okay? The C-hip, you know, when it get implemented, uh, uh, um, you know, in the world, okay? They're going to um, run to that to save their life, but ultimately they're losing life for uh, trusting Esau, you know? And I believe I, speak, I spoke about Isaiah 30, you know? But I'm going to continue. They claim weightlifting and body modifications help them heal from um, anorexia. Okay. And that's like a um, that's like a hunger treatment. Okay. <laughs> but uh, what Isaiah 65, I believe in 13. You know, I believe I got that actually on my note on my uh, right here, too. You know, I'm going to get it real quick. Since I'm, uh, yep. Isaiah 65 verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord. Yahweh shy thy power. Behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Who's the ye shall be hungry? You people that ultimately, you Jakes, that ultimately trust in um, Esau, Edom, man. Okay, you're going to be hungry because, like I brought out, um, whosoever uh, shall save their life shall lose it. You know, you trust in, you trust in Esau. So you're going to lose and, and, and get the same judgment as Esau, ultimately, man. Okay. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty thirsty behold my servant shall rejoice but ye shall be ashamed yeah the servant's gonna rejoice because they trust in yahweh bashim al shai <coughs> even when death was in a face okay that's why first corinthians 10 and 13 the water yahweh bashim al shai from planting that scripture in my brain you know he not gonna push he ain't gonna, he ain't gonna put his uh his elect through nothing they can't bear okay whatever the elect goes through you know the lord's gonna you know going you know it's going to bend them it's going you know uh um it's going to be a, a fiery trial it's not going to be easy but it's not going to break the elect it's going to make them at the end of the day you know it's just going to be more glory for you how about you shot ultimately because it's the lord getting them out of that situation it's the lord feeding them okay you know um uh, um uh, no the lord fed uh, what elijah uh, uh with ravens Elijah, I believe, you know, uh, with raping some birds, uh, uh, Daniel's and Elias then got fed, you know, uh, the, 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 uh, the Lord did miracles, man. Okay. For, for the sincere, you know, 
have the Lord ever forsaken um who who believed him believed on him you know and the answer is no okay I'm gonna go back I'm gonna go back <clears throat> okay so um anorexia anorexia Lord when I'm saying that right uh I'm gonna just jump right here a Kansas blogger who has battled eating disorders, claims weightlifting and extreme body modifications have helped them cope with trauma and defeat their eating disorder. So Jake, <laughs> you know, I'm speaking about Jake because you, uh, you other nations, you eat mice, you know, and you, like I said, again, you other nations that take to see it, it doesn't matter. You're going to perish anyways. You're collateral damage. You're collateral damage anyways. You're going to be slaves regardless you take it or not. You know, this is your world, you know, to you heathens and you um, eat mice. So you don't matter. But to you, Jake, you know, that's going to have this type of mindset ultimately in Jacob's trouble. You know, when they uh, implemented the, um, the see it, you know, by by uh, by fear tactics, fear tactics, you know, and shit like that. They going to think uh, uh, that see hip is going to um, they're going to be able to uh, uh, cope. They're going to be able to uh, uh, live a normal life. Taking and see it. They're going to think they say their life, like I said, but ultimately taking I see it. <laughs> that's them um, losing their life, okay? <clears throat> and they're not going to uh, eat, you know, because it's going to an eating disorder. It's helping defeat their eating disorder. You know, you're going to starve for trusting in Esau eat them, while the men of the Lord are going to eat, eat good too. You know, the true men of the Lord understand they're going to get tested. You know, that's why we fast, you know, um, and do what we got to do in the spirit, you know, to prepare ourselves for that day. But, you know, that's uh, um, to make us stronger, you know, when uh, uh, when there's a famine, man, you know, because when there's a famine, you know, your body already used to not eating, man. You know, the Lord going to test you, you know, and you know, the sincere going to keep that faith and the Lord going some way, somehow uh, um, feed him, man. We don't know how, but hey, um, he's going to do it. He's going to feed uh, somebody, you know, it's just Lord willing to be us, you know. That's why we do what we do for the Lord, man. We want that, um, um, um. You want that favoritism, man. Ultimately, man. You want that protection. This go, uh, let me see. So this is, Je it says, Jesse uh, Cart Patrick, 27, who is non-binary, non-binary, um, and uses the pronouns they, them, had a health relationship with food as a child. They, them, this bitch is bugged out. Um... However, how, how, however, in their late teens, they began suffering from anorexia, which they believe stems from severe, severe trauma they experienced as a child. It says Kirk Patrick turned to modifications to heal their mental health. The extreme body modifications include a stretch uh, sp sp spittum, the structure sp separating the right and left nostril, nostrils. Multiply lip piercings and stretched tongue, a stretched lip, stretched nostrils, and silicone horn implants in the forehead that makes them look like a devil. Okay, so you want to be a devil. You want to join these devils. You you, you know, ultimately, you Jake. You know, because this motherfucker probably eat him, like, you know, personally, I think it's an eating mite. Um, but, you know, for you Jakes, man, you want to uh, uh, take the ways of these fucking base people. You're going to fucking die as a as a heathen then, okay? Because you got a heathenistic mind and you have to be born in the, in the other side. Because there's no excuse for Jake to uh, not get right, man, because the warning is out there, man, okay? Um, let me see, let me see, let me see. So I'm going to just get straight into the uh, you no know, my um, my scriptures and I'm uh, it's going to back me up with this article, okay? It says the extreme body modifications and uh, what it say? It says, uh, Kirkpatrick turned to modifications to heal their mental health. <laughs> so let's get the scripture down, man. It's just bugged out, man. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 3. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay? They shall not escape, man. Okay? They're going to think they're, they're in peace, they're in safety, they're good. They could go out there and... Uh, Go to the grocery store. They could buy and sell because they see it or whatever. 
But little did he know, a missile's waiting for him. Okay, the sword is waiting for him. Starvation is waiting for him. You know, shit gonna get so bad. The scriptures say that motherfuckers are gonna, you know, um, seek death. People are gonna literally seek death, man, and not find it. That's horrible. It's gonna be horrible, man, out here. That that speaks for itself. Somebody seeking death and not finding it, that's crazy. Okay? Because they stomach touching their damn they damn back, man. Okay, for uh trusting in Esau, man. Okay. So I'm gonna read this one more time and get a preset for this. First Thessalonians five and verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay, so my next scripts, I'm gonna get um you can last these eight. Ecclesiastes 8. It's Ecclesiastes 8. Let me see. Where did I start at? Verse 10. 11. So this is Ecclesiastes 8. In verse, um, let me see, 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. So you other, you fucking heathens, you know, and I'm going to just tie you, um, you Jakes into this too, you know, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the heart of the son of men is fully set in them to do evil. Okay, the son of God, the son of the wicked, and the son of men. Okay, that's why I say I tie in um, you two third ass Jakes, man, because you you basically the son of fucking no uh uh of uh, men. Okay, you you cause you got a hedonistic type of mindset, man. That's why I say what I say, man. Okay, so ultimately we're the sons of God. All right, Esau Edom is the son of the wicked. Okay, the other nations you the son of men. All right, that's just you know the order, you know, uh, um, right there. <clears throat> you know, <laughs> it says, therefore, the heart, you know, going to the mind, you know, of, of the son of man is fully set in them, in them to do evil. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times and his days be prolonged, yet surely I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, which fear before him. Yeah, it's going to be well for the, the fear, um, the fear mongers, man. <laughs> People talking about we um, fear mongers like that's a... a like that's a bad thing. You know, do you not read the scripture saying the beginning of knowledge is the fear? Um, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Okay. The only way you're gonna get this knowledge is you fearing the Lord. Okay, you constantly fighting this fucking wicked ass flesh, okay? <clears throat> you know, and, and feeding the spirit. You know, um, that's fearing the Lord. That's having a, 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 a faith in the Lord. So there's nothing wrong with being a fear monger because that's what the Lord wants. That's respecting him. Okay. I know that it shall be well with them that fear God, Yahbashimashai, which fear before him. Okay. Because ultimately that shows that you trust in him, you respect him, and you believe that he's going to destroy this place. Okay. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Neither shall he prolong his days, which are as a shadow, because he feared not before thy power, okay? Yahweh Bashim al Shai. You know, so like it says in verse 11, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, okay? That don't mean that, you know, you're not going to get judged or touched, man, okay? <clears throat> so I'm going to just close out with this right here Matthew 10 and verse 28. And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul. But rather fear him, but rather fear like you, but rather fear him, which is able to destroy both soul and body in hell. Yeah, don't fear Esau Edom, you know, who can only kill the body. Okay. <laughs> that could make you seem like uh, uh they could help your depression. They could help you out of your situation. Okay, but the whole time. You trusting in an Esau Edom to you, Jakes, to you, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because that's who I'm only talking to right now, okay? Because like I said, I don't know if I said it, the other nations, Esau Edom, you're going to perish in your ways because the Lord is not dealing with the other nations, you know? Like the scriptures say, um, Israel is, uh, have I only known, right? Paraphrasing, man.
You know, the other nations are as a drop of a bucket. Okay. You know, so um, don't fear who could kill the body. You know, uh, strictly fear Yahweh Shai who could kill the body and soul in hell, like it says. Okay. You know, because uh, at the end of the day, the Lord is controlling you, Saul. The Lord is controlling you and your emotions or whatever. Okay. So it will behoove you. It would be well with you if you would just strictly just trust in him, you know, believe in him and have faith that he would deliver you out of your situations as long as you keep doing the right thing. Okay. 100% truth and sincerity. All right. So I'm going to read this one more time. I'm going to close out. It says, Matthew 10, verse 28, and fear not them which kill the body who are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to, to, to destroy by, uh, both soul and body in hell. Yeah, so there's no point to think that piercing my face, uh, it said, uh, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to read this. I'm going to just read this. Then I'm going to close out with my thoughts on that. That shit's crazy. This shit says, I had devil horns implanted in my face. I never felt better. Okay. You know, so that's ultimately that's going to be destruction of you uh, Israelites that trust in Esau, Edom, man, and thinking that that's going to make you feel better. Okay, at the end of the day, uh, ultimately, that's going to uh, be your destruction, man. Thinking that's going to make you feel better. Thinking that's going to protect you. Thinking that's going to save your life. You know, so the point is made. You know, so like, I'm going to just close out with that. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to our beautiful power. Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahshai, Ba'ashim, Kadash. I want to give double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that continue to will. Honor to you, brothers, out there laboring in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the sister and sister, and let's put an effort to please Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahshai, to the best of the abilities, and obey the husband and have a husband. So with that, I want to say, Kwame Yashirala. Shalom. The Lord is on our side. You know, like it says in what was Emma Solomon 1 and 15, I believe. Uh, righteousness is immortal. You know, I believe it's 1 and 15. You know, you know righteousness is immortal, man. You know, that's what's immortal. You know, that's why it says, um, Slaki, I got some more scriptures to come in my head right now. Um, the righteousness delivered out of death. Okay. I'm gonna, let me close out with that. I'm going to close Slaki. Slaki. Slocky, slocky, slocky. Something to tell me I'm going to close out with that. It just helps my whole point. I clicked the wrong one, but this was Proverbs 11, verse 21. Though hand join hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. That's a precept right there, though. You know, that's a precept right there to my scripture I brought up. Okay. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Slack it. I know what I did wrong. I'm going to close out with this. Slack it. Slaki, Slaki. Yeah, that's what it is. Rich, I'm tripping. Not righteous. I'm getting righteous and riches mixed up. Slaki. I knew I wasn't tripping. Okay, so Proverbs 11, verse 4. This is why I wanted uh, riches profit not in the day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. Okay, so basically, I just want to say this. Um, trust in Esau, eat him in his system. It's not going to deliver you out of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. And righteousness goes into basically you putting your all, putting your eggs in one basket and your how about you now shy. Okay. That's what's going to deliver you out of um death, man. Okay. Because our, our righteousness, that's filthy rags, man. Okay. But that don't stop the elect for uh doing a sacrifice and doing what they got to do for you. How about you now shy? You know, a Lord willing to get that um, salvation uh, from that, man. Okay. You know. Uh, no, uh, the spirit, the spirit profited, um, the flesh profited not, but the spirit, um, man, I'm thinking about so many scripts right now. 
I'm gonna close out with that. I'm gonna close out Slocky. This will be the last one. John 6 and verse 63 is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay, it's the spirit that quickened it, that brought us to life. Okay, that healed our dry bones, like I went into my other lessons. Lesson, okay. The flesh profited nothing. Yeah, man, you put in modifications, ultimately speaking about, you know, I'm thinking about the C hip. You know, that's not gonna profit nothing but death. The only thing that's gonna profit is death. You no, know, that's the only profit, you know, is death, you know. Um, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Okay. And ultimately, you know, taking heed to the word a hundred percent, you know, in, uh, walking, uh, uh, how that, how does the saying go? I always forgot the saying go, but you know, uh, um, just walking, uh, um, what you preach, man. I can't think how the saying go, man, but you know, a brother that knows the saying, know what I'm trying to say, man. Okay. That's what's going to give you life. Okay, the spirit and trust in the spirit 100%, no matter what comes your way. Okay, so I'm going to close out with that. No lower than the video is edifying. I want to give all honor, praise, and glory to you. How about you, my child? How about you, Rukakadash? I want to give them honor to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone. With that, I want to say, Shalom.